All right, class, in 2.4, we did not get to the last uh, exercise problem. And this has to do with uh, north, south, east, west. And it has to do with bearing of an object, either in motion or in relationship to another thing on the map. So it's used really in navigation as well as surveying. So we have the north-south line, and everything extends from there. So let's take a look at four examples. And so if we want to determine or say how something is going or a relationship from one thing to another, what we do is we always say the direction is going north and south. And from there, we, we say the uh, degrees that it's off of that. So in this case, it's north, 45, or sorry, 40 degrees east. So you have the angle measurement that's really coming off of the north line. All right, next one here. This would be north 65 west. Again, uh, the angle measurement is coming off of uh, the northern direction. And now it's leaning towards the left side or the west side. All right, these are pretty simple here enough. And so something is bearing south 70 degree degrees east. There it is. If you also want to think of it in terms of quadrants, you can do that as well. And so, last example here, south 20 degrees west. That's pretty easy enough to sort of see how those correspond. So let's take a look at our example and a little closer to home. We have San Luis Obispo, California, a place we know, hopefully, is 12 miles due north of Grover Beach, according to the map. And Aurora Grande is 4.6 miles due east of Grover Beach. So what is the bearing of San Luis Obispo from Arroyo Grande? So this is the key element here. We're trying to figure out the bearing of SLO based upon Arroyo Grande. So right off the bat, we put down our north-south line, west-east line, and the dead center of it is going to be, I'll just put AG, Arroyo Grande. And so it also says that uh, the correspondence between Arroyo Grande and Grover Beach is 4.6 miles, and that Arroyo Grande is 4.6 miles east of Grover Beach. So Grover Beach should be right here. We'll put GB, 4.6. And then the last one that we should think about is uh, SLO is 12 miles All right, 12 miles north so we can uh, my little pen is acting up here so there it is alright I think we have everything we need here so this is 12 here there's that let me change the pin color and we need to know this right here that's what we were trying to figure out Primarily, we're just trying to figure out this little angle right here. And I'm going to call it theta. Call that angle theta. <clears throat> All right, how do we figure out? There's t Technically, there's two different ways to figure this out. And so one way to do it is to think of this little triangle right here. You have a right triangle on your hands. And if we can figure out this angle, then the complement of this angle will be theta. So I'm going to just label this as A, because that's what we're familiar with. I'm going to figure out the A angle. The complement will be the theta angle. So what do I know from this angle measurement? We're looking at opposite of that angle and adjacent. That looks like tangent to me. So let's write it out here. So tangent of A will give us opposite over adjacent. All right, as we did in class, we're going to take the inverse of that. All right, and you try it at home to see what you get. You can pause the video real quick here if you need to. All right, and let's go on here. So as I punch this into my calculator to the nearest degree, let's go nearest degree here. So tangent inverse of 12 over 4.6 gives me 
69 degrees. That's angle A. What I really want is theta there. So I'm going to get the complement or subtract that from 90. Real quickly here, that's going to give me a 1 out of 2 and perfect. So I have myself the angle theta is going to be 21 degrees. And so what's the bearing? What's the bearing of SLO from Arroyo Grande? It's going to be north, 21 degrees west. There's my little answer there. All right, <clears throat> that is one way to do it. Another way you can think about it, and the book presents it this way, is we go back to our geometry days a bit. We go back to our geometry days thinking about if we have two parallel lines, and let's say they are cut by a transversal coming across. All right, sorry, pin acting up still. All right, and the question is, what do you know about these two angles right here? All right, hopefully you said, oh, I remember that, Mr. Njiev. They are congruent to each other. They're the same. They're called alternate interior angles inside here. So that's cool. How does this help us? Well, let's recreate what we have here already. So this is north, south, west, east real quickly here. AG right there. GB and SLO. And so we have that line coming down. So I'll let you guys think about it here. Do you see any two parallel lines coming across? Any parallel lines? Absolutely. There is this line right here from SLO to Grover Beach as well as the north-south line right here. And then we talk about where's the transversal here. Where's the transversal that we're thinking about from geometry? Well, it's going to be a transversal that's going to come across like this. There's my transversal. So according to geometry, this little theta right there is going to be the same thing as this little theta right there. So let's go for it here. Uh, we know that to be 12. We know this to be 4.6. So let's just erase the extra little pieces of the transversal there. So as long as I get the theta here, I will know my answer for my degree value there. All right, so let's take a look at this here. From this theta, just kind of looking from this theta, 4.6 is going to be the opposite side. 12 is going to be my adjacent side. Hey, that's still tangent. Tangent still, it's still opposite over adjacent. Okay, so let's go with it here. So tangent of theta is opposite over adjacent. So again, theta would be the inverse of tangent. And we should get an angle of 21 degrees. Perfect. OK, so we can name it as north 21 degrees west. And we are done. So if you, either way you, you do it is, is going to be just fine. This is just a quick way so you don't have to take the complementary angle of the angle that you find. But either way that you do it will be perfectly fine. All right.